Well, here we are again, and, and we're just now getting out of work. So, for those that don't know, I am currently displaced from my home legally, uh, having some legal matters uh, that are being dragged into court. We're having to wait four months or so in order for these uh, situation for this situation to be cleared up. Uh, however, regardless of what the outcome is going to be, um, I'm moving forward with what I'm doing now, hopefully not displaced or homeless in a sense. But we are living on the streets of San Diego right now. We currently have, just so you're aware, three part-time jobs that we do. Um, and we are struggling with every minute of the day. It's still maintaining our business as if nothing were to happen. <coughs> Excuse me, the only thing, I'm all right, don't worry. Uh, the only thing that really has altered is the main thing is not being able to see my children. And the second thing is a secure and safe place to uh, lay my head at night. Uh, everything else remains the same because that's the routine that I had. I'd be gone all day, come home, basically go to bed, repeat, re you know, repeat the same process the next day. However, what I've really started to take really serious lately, and I had in the past too, but now I'm really counting on it. Hence, the fact that I'm going to be counting all this change. This is a week's worth of change that I've found here so far uh, over a short period of time. Uh, and we're gonna cash it in today. We're gonna go to the grocery store and we're just gonna dump it in those little self-help little checkouts um, and see how far we can get with what whatever we want. I want some bananas. I'm craving bananas right now. Bananas and strawberries. That sounds really good. I'd settle for grapes and maybe uh, some oranges. I love oranges. I love bananas. Uh, I know I can get bananas cheaper because they'll end up reducing them, so I'll get more, I'll be able to, you know, eat three or four of them and be full, and then uh, won't get too many, but we'll get enough to, to get our fructose in today. Uh, maybe we'll get some grapes or something that have to be uh, washed, obviously, but um, I'm thinking bananas for sure, maybe oranges, we'll see, that's a good combination. But what's gonna end up happening is, from this point on, I'm gonna continuously document uh, the routine of what I do and how I'm doing things. As far as like today, we're taking spare change that we found on the ground from a job that people disregard, that people take for granted, and I've accumulated it, and now I'm gonna buy a meal with it. Which, you know, I'm not receiving any sort of assistance right now in food and shelter and any sort of aid. I haven't gone to apply for anything. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm I probably got my pride stepped in a little too much on this, but what I'm what I'm trying to do is challenge myself to get through this on the survival methods that I know and what is right and what is wrong. And you know, I know there's a lot of things that are out there where people can survive and certain elements and things like that. But what I'm gonna try to show while I'm doing this is how I'm doing it so that it makes sense that you could you could easily so far pull this off where I can show you you know where I shower uh, there's a couple locations I can show you where I do my hygiene there's a couple locations I can show you how I get my food uh, by paying for it there's a couple that you can take advantage of certain things. There's certain little hacks, little tricks that I've learned over the years that I've done that I'm gonna desperately need now uh, as far as getting water and keeping it to a low cost and buying produce and keeping it to a low cost, looking at reduced items on the shelf uh, and inspecting them, things that are ready to eat, nothing that is stocked. I wanna be and stay mobile at all times. Um, I'm so glad I prepared myself for this moment and not knowing that it was going to happen, but because of my PTS and my paranoia, I can say this. If being a Marine was a problem to someone that I know and having the mindset that people have about the fact that someone in the military could be a certain character or not, I'll tell you one thing. There's one thing that I did learn 
was the fact that you never gave up regardless of the situation. You never gave up and you continuously kept moving forward. And that also has to do a lot with my upbringing, which was another issue that was brought up and why I'm in this situation. Everybody's brought up differently. Not everybody was treated the same. Not everybody got to see the same things. And I would have to say that I probably saw more, more, more than I wanted to as a child. Been through a lot as a kid. Um, and being in different situations throughout my life has prepared me for this moment. And I want to share it with you. So, there you go. Stay tuned to the channel if you're new. Feel free, please, go ahead and subscribe. Let's do this together. Enjoy the ride, baby. Let's go. All hands and all feet must stay in at all times. We are not responsible for any lost or stolen items while on the ride here at the Lobsters Park. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay tuned. The next one's going to be good. I think we're going to jump into how much did we get and what did we buy.